This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. This is question number 19. Now, this is in the calculator allowed section, so we can use a calculator if we need it. You may not need it, or you might need it. Don't become dependent on using a calculator, but at the same time, don't be afraid to use it if you need it. It's okay. It's allowed in this section. Why wouldn't you? So the question says the bar graph shows three ways that students in David's class get to school. They either ride the bus, they go in a car, or they walk. How many more students ride the bus than ride in a car and walk combined? So before I do anything else, I'm just going to try to break down how many people do each thing. That makes sense, right? So for the car, it's easy. They're right on the line. So I just go to the top here, move over, and it's an 8. So for car, I'll just put 8. For walk, it's a little bit more complicated. This is not super complicated. All you have to do is it's between 4 and 6, so just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since we can assume that there are just one apart each if it's in the middle, so that means the walk value is between 4 and 6, which is, of course, 5. For the bus, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and then a little more. So it's somewhere between 14 and 16. So I may say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and it doesn't get up to 16, so we can assume that the students that ride the bus, 15. Now, how many more students ride the bus than ride in a car and walk, which means I need to combine them together? The easy thing here to jump on the, the wagon about is just to say, well, if more students ride the bus than ride in a car, you just do 15 minus 8, and then you're good, right? Well, no, because you have to combine them first. If this were, if we were going to do parentheses and such, we want to start with more than, in this case, uh, we're going to figure out what's left over. So we're actually going to subtract from the original amount. So 15 minus 8 plus 5. So 8 plus 5 would be 13. And if you don't trust me, just... Check it out in your calculator if you want. That's fine. And then all I need to do is see how many more students would be in the bus group. So I'm comparing 15 and 13, and the best way to compare in this case is subtract. 15 minus 13 equals 2. So my answer to this one is M. And I may put an M there to remind myself when I carry it over from the paper to the answer sheet that I don't make a mistake. I used to do that all the time when I was young. So if I look at some of the different answer choices, just to see why they would put them there, the 28 is basically where they just added all the numbers together. If you don't know anything, I'll give you a hint. It's probably not add all the numbers together once you get to the point where you're taking these tests. It's very unlikely that adding the numbers together is going to get you anywhere. So look for keywords that can help you. Car and walk, that it's in bold for a reason. It's telling you to combine those two things together. And the more thing should tell you to compare. Now, you may in your head think, well, more generally means add, right? It does, but it's not how it's being used here because they want to know how many more are in one group than the other. So what they're looking for when they say more between two groups is the difference. And difference is like the super word for subtraction. So we definitely are probably going to be doing a subtraction in here. But anyway... Get in there, set it up, and you'll notice that when I rolled this down, um, it moved the dot, but the M's still there, so I wouldn't make the same mistake of carrying it over incorrectly if I made sure that I carried the letter from one to the other. It also, since it goes A, B, C, D, and then some different letters all the way through, if I get off track on my answer sheet, it's much easier to catch it if I'm looking at the letter as opposed to just looking at what numbers are put where, so or what uh, bubbles are bubbled in. So there you go.